Alrighty then, good afternoon all you fantastic people, uh, Silver Dragon here, coming at you with some more Kenshi, going to be continuing where we last left off. Now, last time we managed to get a good portion of our supplies ready to go here, we got a bunch of training dummies built that our guys are currently training on, and I finally started producing some leather armor, hopefully, in which case it'll be these leather vests here. Now, I do hope that we have some leather. I know we have some hide. I'm pretty sure roaming around here. Let me see if I can... Yeah, we have animal skin, but I don't have any leather. So I might actually need a separate workbench to turn animal hide into leather. So let me take a look at my... Uh... Here we go. Crafting. Got the clothing bench, fabric loom, furnace, that'd be for burning things, we don't really need to do that though. It's for scrapping armor and such, leather armor crafter, leather tanning bench, that's what I need. Let's rotate this guy. So we'll build a leather tanning bench, and let's see if I go into my storage here. Armored plates. We do have a storage for leather. And I'll get a storage for skins right next to that. Let's confirm those. And I'll have Sir Popcorn quickly deal with those. What the fuck? As everybody suddenly rushes out here. I'm like, what the hell are you people doing? Is that, I think they're all hungry. Hold up. I think they're all hungry. That's why they're all rushing out here. So let me just let them do their thing. Yeah, I think that's the problem. They're all hungry right now. Or at least that's the problem with most of them. So yeah, they're running up here to get some chew sticks. Or some dust witches. Alright, everyone gather back upstairs here. Oh, this poor bastard, he's so slow. There you go, buddy. Now get back up here. Now these guys are returning to do the same thing. I guess everyone, half the people are running out to build stuff and half the people are just screwing around right now. Alright, let's get these guys back on their training benches. You get over there, good sir. You get all these damn fools back upstairs where they belong. It's like, get to work, you lazy bums! There we go. Slight pain in the ass, but we finally got them back running where they or doing what they should be doing. All right, now let's take a look at you. What's your problems? You need animal skins, and you currently have none. Let's fix that problem. Come on. There it is. put uh, some of these away. Close that. Alright, now let's see if I can reach this. No, I thought it's too far away. Too far away. Oh well. Man, that is getting noisy, isn't it? 
Oh, well, he's going to continue outputting the leather there. And then we will be able to at least build a couple of these leather vests. Now, let me also go into inventory here. And fill up his inventory with fabrics. Okay. And transfer some of them over to that. So that'll get them... Get him working on that. Now, I do want to create a small squad here if I can. Let me see how we're doing on this, though. How are we doing, soldier? Yeah, it's got some good katanas. Good. So he's still making them. Needs more fabrics, though. That's a slight problem. Where's that damn bowl? Where's that damn bowl of mine? Oh, here he is. There we go. That should be good. So we have a ton of food on this guy still. That I can transfer to everybody if I so wish. Can I actually have him? I can have him bodyguard them, but I can't have him trade to my guys. So I can't just go along the line of our troops up there and have them all trade off this guy. I would like to see a lot more customization added into like certain reactions like if I could designate this bowl as a food storage location or a pickup location they could walk two feet I could station him up there they could walk two feet and grab food from him rather than having to run all the way over to here to pick up a uh, dust witch or whatever they happen to be going for oh God damn it, man. Yes, I did it! Ah! It's a success! Hold your hat. Hold still. Put him down. Woo! I did it! I'm the champion! Alright. Dear Lord, we have enough cactus to drown ourselves in for the next, like, infinity. <laughs> ah, for an age, we are good. What the hell are you doing? Goddamn fool. And I definitely wish they would prioritize things a little bit better. Like, he's filling up his inventory with way too much crap. Like, what is... Where is he going? What is he doing? He's running back and forth for no reason right now. Like, what crack are you on? I will admit we are low on bread. That is a problem. So we do need more bread before we can get a lot of things done. Suns is just chilling there right now. Do we have this generator turned on right now? It is switched off. Okay, good. Our power is decreasing a little bit. But that's mostly fine. Let's power this guy on here for a second just so we can recharge all of our batteries. Oh yeah, look at that. We immediately jumped up like massively. Now let's speed up time here a little bit. It's more than time to do that. So I'll let this guy run for a while. Oh wow, he has a really slow use for the fuel too. That's ridiculous. Yeah, we could definitely power this place now just on that alone. Pretty much. Damn. We have a decent amount of money too, so we can actually buy a bunch of the stuff that we need. At the moment, copper alloys. Costs in engineering research. Okay. For more high tech engineering projects. What the hell am I going to get engineering research? Oh well. 
Advanced stone mining, battery power 4 requires 8 books, increases the output of the batteries, improved water storage. Hydroponics is something I would love to get, but it requires an AI core, which is also incredibly expensive. Uh, let's research turret training 3 because I can. Wait, what? Required artifacts? Shit. Robotics, weapon smithing, let's do it. Corpse disposal. Might as well research that. We're gonna need it eventually, I'm sure. So why the hell not? Let's go down here. How are we doing? He's produced quite a bit. He is getting the dust which is produced as well. So let's check on the progress of Sir Popcorn here. He has it in his inventory, doesn't he? No, he doesn't. Oh, what the hell is all the damn leather then? Did Arthur take it? Arthur, are you a thief? No, Arthur didn't take it. Weird. Okay. That was weird. It's like he wasn't working for some reason. Hmm. Awkward. Let's disable some of these so that they don't use our battery power. Oh yes, we got this lovely bowl here, which has a ridiculous amount of fuel for us. So we can keep this thing running 24-7 even. I, I do not need to de deactivate that at all. Okay, we're finally going to get a leather here. Okay, this thing is being really weird. Alicia, you're working on the electrical components. What are you doing? She's working on the grain silo as a priority. Now that they're actually harvesting the wheat straw here, I guess we'll get more grains. Arthur, what are you doing? You're an engineer. In that case, let me get you over here as well. Just in case Popcorn decides he doesn't want to do his job for some stupid reason here. I mean, they say no power, but we have more than enough power. So clearly something's wrong with popcorn. Looks like he's working on this now. So either way, we have one guy working on either machine. Which should be good. Anyway, we do need more leather, so let's actually gather up some of our strong guys here. You seem to be fairly fully armored. Although you're heavy, so you'll be too slow for us. There's Bark. He's one of the ones I'm looking for. So let's just take a couple of people here. Bark. I might have to take the old soldier with me. Let's bring... PSX, WoW, Grand Elemental, and you know what, let's grab Quintess as well. As well. Alright, let me select these guys quickly. Come on, let me select people please. Alright. Where the hell is you, good sir? All right, soldier, how you doing? He's doing pretty good for the moment. He has everything that he needs. In that case, let me send Roach here to help out with this. I can't do that right now, we don't have the room. 
He's still weightless, so we should be fine. Okay, let's go. We gotta go help. We gotta go hunt down some beak things. So we can get some leather. Even some dogs would do. Alright. Let's quickly reload the nav mesh so these guys aren't stuck here like idiots. Check the map quickly. Sc scroll on in. I don't see any animal dens nearby. And of course I still can't get, my, get into the damn forest here. Which annoys the hell out of me. Not sure what the hell happened with that. And why this is suddenly closed off. Because it should not be intraversible terrain. But it is for some reason. Oh, we got a fight over here. And it's with beak things. Perfect. We can gain some combat. Holy shit, though. That is a lot of beak things. I don't know if we can handle that, man. I would want to bring my entire crew in for this. Attack! Worst comes to worst, we'll run away. Oh shit, they're downed. Oh, his leg took a pretty good hit there. We're doing good. Although, we're, I like how it's hilarious how we're like pushing the thing by walking into it like that. Dodge! Ooh, huge hit to the stomach. And WoW is down. Man, these beak things are ridiculous in some of the damage they do. And they attack in an area of effect of sorts. So if you're too close to it, you're all going to get hit and go down. Why are you not dead yet? Seriously. So close to finishing it off here. Like, he even blocked that one. He still took some damage. Oh, there we go. Croach got it. Good. Alright. Medic up, people. Thankfully, they do have some med kits on them still. If you don't mind. That was one of them. Could you imagine if all of them attacked us at once? We would be boned. We would be absolutely boned. There wouldn't even be a question about that. Alright. Oh shit, we're under attack. Run home! Alright, let's get to the, uh, let's get home for a second here. If it will let me, which it won't. Come on! Let me home. Let me go home, you bastard! Close that. Let's get people arming this shit. Upstairs. It's like I don't care who it is. Let's go. Damn select screen. It's like, run! Oh, god damn it. Run! Bark is still being attacked once we get within range of the crossbows. Oh, stupid mother! What are you doing? Get out of here, you little bastard! Fuck. 
Fucking hive worker. Ouch, his leg got taken. He's in trouble now. Fire! Idiots. Other things you should be targeting right now. Uh, stop talk targeting the hive worker. He is not fucking important right now. Idiots. <laughs> I swear sometimes. Sometimes I just want to beat them all. Okay. This guy will be back up shortly. Uh oh. Treat yourself, fool. You're in critical condition. What the? Oh my god, you son of a bitch! You did not just pick my gate for a third. You know what? You're dead to me. You are dead to me, sir. I swear to god. Let's kill this damn bastard. Kill him now. Finish him off. This is the last goddamn time he picks my fucking gate. No more. No goddamn more. Bastard. Uh, I, I ordered you to loot the body, not run away. God damn. Ah, frustrating at times. I swear, I just want to smack these guys at some point. Alright, go heal these idiots up. But yeah, I know that guy was seriously pissing me off with his bullshit there. Constantly picking the lock inside of my gate, letting enemies in. I mean, that's grounds for an ass-kicking. And some. You don't have what I need. You do. Go medicate people, please. I hate blood, especially my own blood. Well, too bad. Alright, you two are going to go on a rescue mission. At least we got the leather we wanted, but I'm still like, what the hell? In what it took to get it. I mean, those beak things are not to be fucked with, apparently. God damn, but the, the biggest annoyance was that damn hive guy. Like, it kills me that they're just so easily able to get inside of my walls. This is a private outpost. You are a friendly NPC. How are you getting inside of my base without my permission? I think they're like spawning in or they're walking over the walls due to the freaking, uh, what the hell is it called? Uh, the road going directly through my settlement, but that just pisses me off. They should not be able to bypass my walls like that. Pick him up. Truth, you can go back. We're good here. That is like a major annoyance. We still have a couple of beak things over here. Kind of just chilling. And devouring, I guess. But we're not going to piss them off. We've already seen how that turns out. So let's get home. Yeah, I think that's the major reason why we're having a problem here, is that this road goes directly through my settlement. 
Now, I would have built around this way if I'd known that was a problem, but then again, we can't access this area anymore. So, even now, if I wanted to, it's not an option. It's not like they can't get around, either. So, they're not forced to go through here. Otherwise, I'd charge a toll with the bastards and keep interfering with my shit. Oh, more blood rain! More blood rain for Lord Armok! Excellent. Alright. Let's get you guys into bed. Anyone with any significant injuries will have to be chucked into bed here. Also, I need to double check their inventories to make sure who has the items I need. Killer is all the way on the other end of the map. He's not who I'm looking for. Uh, Bark is a little bit injured, so I'll have him come rest. The rest in that group seems fine. Grand Elemental's already been put up, so that's fine. Left arm is a bit damaged. Oh, you are really hurting. Get over here, Roach. Same thing for you. Your freaking chest is almost gone. And let's get Dwarf over here, too. Now you... are fine for the moment, but let's get you back training. Once they're done with the beds, I'll have you go deal with your head injury and blood loss. Now, let's close this goddamn gate and hope the idiot uh, AI doesn't open it up again. Like, they should be requesting, hey, could you let me out? Or something? Maybe just standing by the gate and yelling at me, then if I ignore it for a long time, then they just start trying to pick their way out. But it irritates me that that seems to be their first, the first thing they need to, they try to do is just pick their way out of the place. I'm like, you assholes, what are you doing? Let's make three more lovely katanas. Someone did suggest that I make a couple, you know, let me actually do that just in case, see if it'll work. I'm gonna queue up two slim katanas and I'm gonna see if I can get one of my guys to dual wield. I don't know if it'll work, but it's definitely something that would be worth trying. Alright. Can I get somebody up here so I can see what the hell I'm working with? Do I have anybody spare right now? Let's send the bull up. It irritates me that I can't see inside the buildings like this if I don't have somebody in it. Like, I should be able to see inside the damn building. Alright. Ooh, we have a lot of them. Man, we already have plenty of these katanas. Fantastic. Alright, let me look through their inventories now, because I know that some of the guys that I sent out should have some additional resources in their inventory. Do you have any weapon at all? No, you don't. Where are you? Well, you're over here. Let's get you training, too. I'll give you one of the good katanas. As your prime weapon. And go ahead and go use it. Go train. Alright, continuing looking through the inventories. Here's a couple. Let's go down a floor. Down a floor. Thank you. Alright, that's it. Now, Sir Popcorn, what the hell are you doing? I was thinking he might have had a couple of other vests in his inventory, that's why he was running over here, but doesn't appear to be the case. You have more than enough of that, so I'm not sure where the hell he's going. 
Maybe he's going for food. That is possible. Yep, looks like he was going for food. But, sir, I want you back to work, so get going. So that should be enough to at least produce a couple of leather uh, leather armors. So we should get some basic uh, bit going there. All right. Let's go ahead and fill that up. Now, it has been a while. How are we all doing here? Quintess is looking good. He has a little bit more damage on his leg to heal. Chest looks like you are completely good now, Bark. So I can have you get to work on training again, even though you're not going to be able to train much at all. How about uh, Croach? Okay, he's good. Let's uh, get him to work on uh, training again, too. Alright, have at her. Actually, he's operating the, uh, he's operating the steel refinery. So you can get back to work on that, then, as that is rather important. Man, are these things not even working at all anymore? No, it looks like we have zero wind right now. So even all of my smaller ones aren't generating any power at all, whatsoever. Alright, these guys are slowly healing up, so we'll be getting them back in the action here shortly. Now, there was one more person. Yes, Fountain, you can come heal up. Dwarf, yeah, you come heal up too. The rest of us are pretty much good. She can just heal up naturally. We don't have to throw her in bed. 96, 97, 98. Come on. 99, and 100. Back to work with you. Oh, you have an iron club right now. Let me fix that. Oh, hello. Open the gate. Let's get you guys over here. Dude. Get over there. Okay. Come on, drag it. Oh shit, did I select like the slowest bastards we have? for that. Where the hell did he go? No! No! Bad wow! Bad! And you guys are beyond useless right now. Holy shit, are you ever. Like, they're refusing to use it, which is pissing me off. Why are you 
refusing to use the weapon. There we go. There you go, he got hit in the freaking skull. You're gonna fire now. Yeah, useless wankers. Yeah, a lot of these guys are bugged out for some reason and they're refusing to... use the damn weapons that they're equipped on. Ugh, oh, you freaking pains in my ass. Ah, oh, frustrating. So frustrating. It's like, are we just gonna wait until he is knocked unconscious because you guys refuse to fire? Apparently we are. Yeah, that is, that is beyond annoying. Holy shit, is that annoying. Oh, well. Let's get them on this side, then, maybe. Maybe these guys will be loaded and ready to go. I think it's because they stopped loading the thing halfway through, and now they, for some reason, can't load it. Or are refusing to. Maybe they need some basic turret training or something. I don't know. What is this mysterious thing that I've never used before that I'm clearly unprepared to even attempt to reload? Are you fucking kidding me? Get on that goddamn crossbow. You colossal pain in my ass. Ugh. I should just open up the gates and let them attack. Because this is getting fucking ridiculous now. Seriously. And I can't select him. So he, only, he nearly died just from that. Yeah, here comes Dipshit Squad 1. <laughs> oh, I hate you guys so much. You have no idea. Idiots. Every fucking one of you. Oh, well, you're gonna get your asses kicked, but that's fine, because then you'll raise your durability up. Or defense, or whatever the hell it is. Come on, boys, get him. Fuck him up. Do what you can. Just don't get insta killed. That's all I care about. Just don't get insta killed. Attack! Some good hits to its head. Ooh, some huge hit to us. Let's see all you guys heal up. No, you can't. You can't do shit. Let's use this guy. Okay. Let me go over here. That was really annoying, though. Like, I, if they refused to use the defenses, we're screwed. You know, what was the point in building them in the first damn place? That is not going to turn out well for us if that, if that continues to be a problem. I'm guessing it's just a bug, which is weird, though, because I haven't updated to any new versions. Nothing has changed. So why is it suddenly a problem? That's what boggles my mind a little. All right. My biggest regret is asking you to come down here because you are slow as all hell. 
All right, let's get you guys over to the uh, bedrooms. I'll have to check each individual one here quickly and then get them uh, get them in bed. You guys should be good to go, so let's reassign all of you to training. There we go. And dwarf. Okay, how are we doing here? You're fine. Quintess is fine. Mostly you're just hungry. You have a giant chest, gaping chest wound. You're just hungry. Zade is hungry. PSX definitely needs some time in here. Well, let's get you back up here. You as well are heavily damaged. Let's get you in here. Truth? How is Truth doing? Truth is fine. Dude, haul your ass. Ah, oh, I got stuck again. Bossed it. There we go. Number three. And meow. You just go train on any random one. Doesn't really matter. Okay, how are we doing here for the weapons? We are yay close to finishing up these katanas. We have two more of the regular ones to go. And then we have the two slims, which I'm hoping to somehow get him to dual wield. I'm not sure if I can, honestly speaking, but I will try. We have quite a bit of leather so far. So that should be enough to get quite a few suits made up. At least I hope. I hope. Okay, these guys are going to heal up nicely. And all in all, we're doing not too bad at the moment. So let me kind of pause and save this here. So it really sucks how the encounters went for the most part. Our guys either got their asses kicked or refuse to properly defend themselves in the case up here for the wall which is weird because two seconds before when we had the other guys attacking they worked just fine so i have no idea what the hell went wrong there but that's unfortunate anyway thank you very much for watching everybody hope you all enjoyed have a great one and hopefully next time we can start fully equipping everybody and uh getting them out of here soon at least that's the hope also, we need to go check out the other colony, because I completely ignored that colony today. Ah, uh, funny. Anyway, till then.